everyone, Miss Carrie here from Miss Carrie's Creations. Today I'm joining the Craft Roulette Challenge and creating a matchbook card using a variety of scraps from my stash. So whenever I'm creating for Craft Roulette as a guest crafter or just joining in on the fun on Friday nights, I usually just grab from my scrap bin. Today I'm also going to be using this whole Latte Love stamp set. One of the parameters was morning, and coffee is a morning requirement for me. I have also cut my card base out of craft paper, and I've used the Fancy Borders Thin Cuts to create that fun scalloped heart border at the bottom. The second parameter was a matchbook card. So I am going to turn this card base into what looks like a matchbook. The bottom portion of the card I'm going to score at one and a half inches and then I'm going to fold up that bottom flap. Now I'm going to fold down the top portion to create what looks like a matchbook. I don't know if you know what a matchbook looks like, but the top flap actually tucks under the bottom flap and that bottom flap is going to hold down the top flap we just created. Instead of scoring it, I am just folding it over and then I'm just going to use my bone folder to create the crease. The third requirement was splatters. In my scrap stash, I found this background that I created from some latte cards I made a long time ago. I'll put the link to that video above. I'm just going to go ahead and use the rest of this scrap up and it happens to fit perfectly on the front panel of the card. I created this background by stamping a coffee stain stamp in espresso and toffee, and then I used watercolors to create the splatter. The fourth craft roulette parameter was red plus two. So I'm going to bring in some red paper scraps and use it to frame this coffee stain background. This card gave me a great excuse to use up some of those scraps in my stash. As you can see, this piece of paper is from a Christmas collection, so I definitely need to start using some of these up before Christmas rolls around again. I'm also going to be adding some blue accents to my card. I really enjoyed this floral pattern from the Stars and Sparklers collection, so I've decided to add a one inch strip of it on that bottom flap. To match some of the splatter on that coffee ring background, I decided to distress the edges using toffee ink. After adding ink to the edges using that blender tool, I'm just going to adhere this one inch floral strip to that bottom flap of the matchbook card. Now, of course, after adding ink to this floral piece, I decided that I should probably also add some ink to that coffee ring background. So here I am carefully pulling this off of the card base, and then I'm just going to use the blender tool to add some ink around the edges, adding a little bit extra onto some of the corners. Now I'm going to go ahead and place this back down onto that red pattern paper, and I'm going to add some more of that red pattern paper down onto that bottom flap. I'm just going to cut a quarter inch strip of that pattern paper and then I'm going to adhere it above the floral strip just so I can bring some more red into this design. The next step is to stamp the coffee cup and coffee sleeve images. I'm going to be using intense black ink because I'm going to be shading the coffee cup using some Spectrum Noir Tri Blend markers. The coffee sleeve is going to be stamped on some red plaid paper. I'm placing that coffee sleeve image over a particular portion of this pattern paper just so I can get some of the swirls and polka dots in the background. Now I'm going to use a little bit of post-it tape to hold down those thin cut metal dies and then I'm going to run these through my die cut machine to cut out the images. Now that I've cut out both of the images, I'm going to start shading that coffee cup using some Spectrum Noir markers. I've chosen a blue shade for my coffee cup. The parameters for this week's Craft Roulette Challenge require me to use the color red and only two other colors. So in my design, I already have some of that scarlet red, and I have some of the sapphire blue and a little bit of Carolina blue. So I'm going to bring in some more blue onto the coffee cup using the True Blue Tri-Blend marker. So I started by adding some shading using the True Blue 4, 
And then I went in and shaded the rest of the coffee cup using the lighter shade, which was True Blue 2. And then I went back and blended the two together using that medium shade, which was True Blue 3. When I want to create another layer of depth and shading on a blue image, I go in with an ice gray marker and I add even more shading to my design. After adding that ice gray, I went over it one more time with that dark blue and you can see it really brings out that color and creates a nice depth in the shades. I chose to use neutral tones on the lid. I started out with the red-brown tri-blends. I went over the entire lid with the lighter shade and then the darker shade and then the medium shade to blend it all together. To add a little bit more depth and shadow to the lid, I used some of my tan blends and then I blended it all together just to create a little bit of interest to the top of the coffee cup. If you would like to learn more about using these tri-blends, I have another video tutorial for you. There is a link at the top of the video and in the description below. All right, so once I was done shading the coffee cup, I realized that it needed something to go behind it. So I found this piece of saffron patterned paper. It's got a little bit of distressing to it. I chose to add a little bit of ink around the edges to match the other elements on the card. As you can see, this circle really does help that coffee mug pop up off the top of the card and it adds a third color to this design. For my sentiment, I am going to create this little happy die cut. This comes from a retired set called Stitched Together. It's a layered die cut. The bottom layer is cut out of a toffee floral mix-in paper and then I added a scarlet piece of cardstock on top. I chose to use the word happy because one of the craft roulette parameters was morning and coffee definitely makes me happy in the morning. Before attaching that circle, I decided to add some more splatter to the design using a toffee shimmer brush. And then I started to take a look at how all of these elements were going to go together on the card. That happy is going to help to hold down that bottom flap. And then we have the little circle with the coffee cup that's going to be layered behind it. But I felt like it needed something to ground it just a little bit. So I've grabbed a couple of little zip strips or product strips. One is in a blue tone and one is in a craft with polka dots. And I'm going to cut these down and I'm just going to kind of haphazardly glue them diagonally onto the bottom of the card. These are just going to add another fun, interesting element to the design. It's going to help to hold that word happy in place and ground it. And it's also going to be a place where I'm going to tuck that little circle that I'm adding to the front of the card behind the coffee cup. Now I'm going to assemble that coffee cup by attaching the coffee sleeve using a little bit of thin 3D foam tape. The yellow circle is going to be attached to the front of the card, tucked a little bit behind that blue strip that I added, and I'm going to trim a little sliver of that circle off the side. The coffee cup is going to be attached to that saffron circle using some thin foam tape, and then I'm going to take a look at this card and see if I need to add anything else to the design. I have decided that I want to add some more floral elements to this card to match that floral strip that I added on the base of the card. So I've grabbed my Stars and Sparklers sticker sheet. I started out with a red flower and a blue flower and then I added a blue leaf and I realized, you know what, simple is probably best. We're just going to stick with the red flower and the blue leaf and then I'm going to go ahead and place these down onto the card using some foam tape. And then we'll use some thicker foam tape to add the word happy onto this design. Now the bottom portion of the word happy is supposed to help hold that flap in place, but it's really not thick enough to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of dig through my stash here. Before I started digging through my stash, I got a little distracted with the design. I decided to add some scarlet red stitching and a small little red thread bundle above the flowers. 
In my embellishment boxes, I found a few of these round paper clips. These are really old. I've had them forever and they definitely need used up. They're also the perfect tool to help keep this matchbook card closed. Now I did have to bend them just a little bit. They're kind of stiff, they're very thick, but by bending that paper clip just slightly, it made it a lot easier to slip onto the side of the card. To bring in a little bit more of that sapphire color onto my design, I grabbed a few little acrylic dots and I added them in a triangle shape across the card. I've given you quite a few sneak peeks today into some of my embellishment organization. I will be adding some videos throughout the month of July showing you how I organize my embellishments in my craft room. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss out on those videos. All right, now our craft roulette happy coffee card is complete. I was able to use quite a few scraps and embellishments from my stash and I followed all four parameters for the challenge. I created some splatter, I created this match book card that when we open it you can see this wonderful little sentiment that says all I need is a little bit of coffee and a whole lot of glitter. This match book card closes up with that paper clip and then as you can see I also added the color red plus two other colors and we have the morning theme using that whole latte love stamp set because to me every morning requires coffee now if you'd like to learn more about the craft roulette challenge and how you can participate every week i have put a link to their youtube channel in the description below I do want to thank you again for joining me for another card making tutorial. If you would like to see other cards that I have created, I have added a little playlist there for you. It's a link that you can go ahead and click on and see all of the card making tutorials that I have made. While you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you are notified when I add new videos to this channel. I hope you have a wonderful week. I can't wait to see what you create.